Understanding Wartime Atrocity, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a significant yet challenging phrase in the English language, wartime atrocity. This topic is sensitive, but understanding it is crucial for a comprehensive grasp of historical and current events discussions in English. Let's delve into its meaning and usage together. Wartime atrocity is a compound term consisting of two parts, wartime and atrocity. Let's break these down. 1. Wartime. This part refers to the period during which a war is happening. It's a specific time frame marked by conflict between nations, states, or groups. 2. Atrocity. This is a term used to describe an extremely cruel or terrible act, often involving violence. Atrocities are actions that are morally shocking and unacceptable. When combined, wartime atrocity refers to extremely cruel and shocking acts committed during a war. Understanding wartime atrocity requires some knowledge of history. Throughout history, wars have unfortunately been accompanied by acts of extreme cruelty, often targeting civilians or prisoners of war. These acts can include mass killings or genocide, torture, forced displacement, other forms of severe human rights abuses. Examples from history include the Holocaust during World War II, the Rwandan genocide, and the atrocities committed in the Bosnian War. The phrase, wartime atrocity, is used in various contexts. 1. News and Journalism Reporters and journalists often use this term when covering wars and conflicts, reporting on incidents that qualify as atrocities. 2. Academic discussions. In history, political science, and international relations, this term is frequently used to analyze and discuss the impacts and ethical considerations of war. 3. Legal context. In international law, Wartime atrocities are important in trials and tribunals for war crimes. In conclusion, the phrase, wartime atrocity, is a powerful expression in the English language, representing the darkest aspects of human behavior during conflicts. By understanding its meaning and context, you can better comprehend historical and current events discussed in English. We hope this video has been informative and insightful. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more English learning content.